As you can see here, now we had the uh, ridge board in place, all the common rafters with a foot overhang on each side. And what we did is we toenailed, and there's a bit of a space there, not perfect, but uh, the other ones are seated more correctly, as you can see. Um, I'll take you closer to look at exactly how we fastened it. But um, if you look here, we have the ridge, um, the common rafters. They're butting together with the ridge board in between, as you can see. So we kind of created a bracket um, for the ridge board to rest on in the center. And if you go around here, that nail needs to be put farther in. But I'm gonna go ahead and take you up so you can look at what we have going on here. Now the common rafters are, are stacked, which doesn't present a problem because there's 16 on center on each side. For the shed, it's not gonna present an issue. Um, we have our ceiling joists going all the way across. And you can look here, they're fastened. So the common rafter is toenail and then fastened to the ceiling joist, which runs all the way across the whole span of the shed and does the same thing on this side. And we have this effect going on all the way down the entire building. And so I'll give you a side view here. As you can see, so we're looking at a, uh, a slope of a four, a four foot slope. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and tie it uh, tight together with um, plywood. And that'll do the final leveling of everything out. And as you can see, this is the back part here. So we have a foot overhang going on around the gable roof all the way around. And the foundation is actually an older foundation that was put up by a friend of ours uh, a year ago. And so I just tore down the structure that he had begun and we created a new structure uh, on top of the foundation in which he set up. Pretty easy foundation. And um, the studs are uh, again 16 on center. And you can look around here. Here goes the back side. I may cut a window out later, but uh, I'll frame it first and then cut the windows out if we need those uh, later. But pretty much there you have it. Um, the majority of the weight is going to uh, actually bear down on the left and right uh, side walls on the length of the building. And so we put the ceiling joists up in order to kind of offset the uh, weight from pushing the walls outward. So that'll come in handy later. And that's pretty standard for any framing. And if you go on this side, we have the same thing going on. The actual ends of the common rafters are a foot overhang. Some people go back and they cut them after, but uh, I was pretty confident in uh, the measurements that we had here. So we don't have to go and chalk line and then cut them. We have exactly a foot overhang on each one. So there you have it. I'll keep you posted as we continue to go ahead and uh, enclose the shed. And then we'll finally install a door here on front and that will complete our project. So I'll go ahead and give you one shot of that. There we have it. And press forward, I'll keep you posted.